we can see that this fridge is lighted by this 10 watt incandescent bulb. We know that this type of bulb are not used nowadays because they produce more heat than light. That's also why it's inefficient. And look, its color is warm and yellowish. In this video, I will make a small LED bulb for this refrigerator. This is the second time I replace an incandescent bulb in a refrigerator. You can click here for the first one. So let's get started. First, let's see the circuit design of the lamp. Like in the previous time, we power our LED with a transformerless power supply. For the small fridge, these six LEDs are enough. I begin building by soldering the LEDs into a perf board and test it using my power supply. I completed the circuit and tweak some of the component values and finally it works. I remove this 10 watts lamp from the refrigerator and my plan is to reuse the base because I have no other base similar to this type. My plan is to cut this bulb into half and find a transparent plastic enclosure for it to be joined. And I found this thermometer case laying around in our house. This enclosure will be the room for the circuitry. I cut this into half using a hacksaw and sanded it to smoothen its edges. We will need a tissue to cut this bulb. I tied it around the tube and poured some alcohol. I ignited it and waited until the flame nearly goes out. Then submerge it quickly into a cold water. This sudden change of temperature breaks the bulb into half. Awesome, right? But let's experiment first. The filament are still intact. Let's see if we power this thing up. The filament burned out and evaporated. That's because of the presence of oxygen in the air, which oxidizes the filament. Now you know why filaments must be placed inside a vacuum container. Enough for the experiment. As you can see, the cut wasn't clean. In the end, I changed my mind to just broke all the left glass. Anyway, the base is the thing here. The next plan is to attach this to the plastic using this ball pen lid. I firstly place the power supply inside the plastic enclosure, followed by the LEDs, the base, and after all the plastic lid, which I sanded to give it a misty color. I glued them all into place. I cover the joint part with aluminum tape to make it more sealed from moisture. And we now have our finished product. Let's screw it in and see if it works. The LED bulb is only about 2 watts compared to that previous one which is 10 watt incandescent bulb. If you like this video, don't forget to hit like, share and subscribe for more videos and remember be innovative